Hey everyone, Chris here. I wanted to do this video for a couple weeks now and kind of talk about something that I picked up for my birthday a couple weeks ago. I just turned that dirty, dirty. Oh yeah, that dirty, dirty. So birthday presents myself for a couple reasons. A, I don't have a Glock or Glock clone or even a Glock variant. And my brothers carry Glocks. I just have CZs, which there's nothing wrong with CZs. There's nothing wrong with having, you know, SIGs or Tauruses or anything like that. But it's nice to know that the fact that you do have some sort of Glock in your collection. And when this guy came in, I jumped on it. The second reason is because Polymer 80, what they're going through with the ATF and the 80% lowers and their 80% kits and things like that. In my personal opinion, in my mind, me buying a product from them, in my mind, my personal opinion, buying a product from them, you know, gives them a little bit more money to, to help them in the fight. Because we all know that, you know, the pen is mightier than the sword for now. God forbid anything were to happen. But I digress. So I kind of wanted to talk about it and get into it some specs some features and some things that i kind of notice and some things that i really don't care for too much but then again you know this is all my personal opinion guys so last but not least thank you everyone for all the love and support i greatly appreciate you guys from the old subs and new subs the likes comments shares you guys are awesome you know i couldn't do this without you guys and if you guys notice the background and the video is a little bit different. I'm in the process of moving. So I decided to, you know, give it a try, give it a whirl and kind of talk about it. But anyway, let's get in, guys. The Polymer 80 PFC. Ooh, you do get this awesome little hard case with it. And for those that need to transport, you know, you do have your little lock holes right there, which I think is kind of cool. Some don't, you know, some of them you just get a cardboard box. So, and that's totally fine, you know. Let's dive in. And right off the bat, guys, we do get some paperwork, you know. Of course, get your ATF pamphlet right there. This little weird piece of texture paper. The P. 80 itself so there's actually a couple of things a i've seen some of these come with three magazines mine came with two so if you guys are out there and you do see one and it comes with the next mag awesome mine did not this must have been you know a friday gun where it was right at the end of the day and they just you know threw two of them in there called it a day so and then i've seen some just come with two some come with three mags and which I think is kind of cool, knowing that the fact that they do throw, you know, a couple extra mags in there for you. And we'll go ahead and get these guys out of the way really quick and we'll finish up exploring the box. So if you lift up your little foam thing and you get an awesome sticker, this is neat. And get your lock. Last but not least, your manual for it. And we'll go ahead and put all this stuff back into there. I love that sticker. And we'll put everything away. That way we got some room. Very cool, very cool product though. And this is safety checked. Nothing in the chamber, nothing in the mag. The cool thing about this, well, there's a couple of things. A, you get the extended mag release right there. Two, as you guys can notice, like we got a couple of cool little cuts in here. For those that have shot Glocks and had, you know, what they call Glock knuckle, some people do, some people don't. When I shoot my brother's Glocks, I've never had that issue. But everybody's hands are different. So right away, you guys can tell 
the undercut right here. Beautiful. And then I've seen some articles talk about the little clip right here that when you go to use your support hand, some people use this shelf thing to kind of put their, their thumb down on. And totally all personal preference. It does have a 1913 pick rail right there, which I think is awesome. Wow. The grip texture itself, I thought it was going to be pretty aggressive, but it's it's actually not. You know, I carry appendix, so having, you know, something rough, kind of like the uh, MMP 2.0, where it's really aggressive texturing, I thought this was going to rub my belly button raw. But the more that I play with it, you know, it's it's not so bad, you know. But then again, everybody's hands and everything, you know, is different. So what I may think is aggressive, the next person may think, you know, is like the perfect texture or not enough texturing. So all personal preference, everyone, personal preference. The slide is 14.7 pH stainless steel with 42 HRC black nitrated slide. The sights, as you guys can tell right out of the box, you do get focus there we go you do get blacked out rear with a traditional you know front post that is colored in it is not a night sight the back is actually a metal sight the front post i'm not too sure let me know in the comments down below guys because i'm not entirely too too sure and we will test the trigger out really quick Audible and tactile. Short reset, short and crisp. So when you go to depress your safety, you do take up and then you hit the wall right away. Nice clean break. And the cool part is, is that you know how some triggers, they, they push your finger out past the reset. This, I feel like you are just right onto the wall. Very nice trigger. The barrel itself is 416 stainless steel, 42 HR, 1 and 10 right hand twist. And it is also black nitrated barrel. And for a takedown, those that do have Glocks or don't know how to take down a Glock, make sure everything is unloaded, pointed in a safe direction, recheck to make sure everything is unloaded. Then you Pull the trigger, and then you pull down your little tab. So you pull back your slide, pull your tabs, slide comes right off. It is a captured guide rod. Nice barrel. I mean, all in all, this is an excellent, excellent product. And then... As you guys can see, there is still some factory grease on there. This has not been shot. I have not took it to the range. I haven't. It just stays in its little case. So we'll go ahead and put this guy back together. And we'll talk about the frame. So besides, you know, the undercut and an extra shelf, the full out pick rail, the grip angle, I feel a little bit more comfortable with than you know your traditional glock like i said the only issue that i kind of have with this the regular glock is just how i can't and that's just me personally you know so i think that this is an excellent piece of machinery yeah the more that i kind of play with that texture the more i'm starting to like it points really natural for me and then, as you guys can tell, you do get a beaver tail on it. Allows you to get higher up on it. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back together. Function test it. Make sure everything's working. All in all, do I recommend it? Yes. I think that if you 
are in the market for something and you don't have a Glock, I highly recommend picking up, you know, a Glock or even the P80. This is awesome. I think this is probably one of the coolest, whoops, I didn't mean to drop it. Probably one of the coolest guns that I probably have besides my CZs. But other than that, I think if you are in the market, really look into it and play around with it. So, yeah. Other than that, guys, I appreciate everything that you guys have done. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are the heart and soul of this channel. And I was really excited to actually make the video and get it out there to you guys. So as always, guys, we'll catch you in the next one.